Hi, this is Rick. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do uh, once you buy a heat sink and you buy a diode, and say you've got it pressed into the little module, uh, you just stick it through the hole. It screws in. As you can see, it's got little cuts there. There's one with the lens on it. Your wires, which I've stuck them back in there, both your wires stick out a couple of inches. The black one's in there too. Anyway, I stuck them in there to show you how to mount the driver. I always tape the driver up, as you can see, real high on the edges so nothing shorts out. After you've got it soldered together, you push everything together. And what I do is put it in the vise. This is, you can use a socket, a car socket here on this side or whatever you need to keep it from uh, damaging the copper. And I use a half inch on this side. And put in a vise and I push the driver in there nice and tight. When I want it sitting, after you got it pressed in there, set nice and flat. Uh, the heat sink also comes with this little uh, ring to help with the grounding. This side is for a 17 millimeter diode, I mean driver, excuse me. This side that you can see is the beveled has to go down uh, because if not it'll short out. Uh, these drivers are very sensitive. You cannot get anything on these outer three squares. The center three you're okay. But put your big uh, sorter uh, your spot on the driver, you get your spring real, real good and hot, then add solder, heat it right there and put your spring on. And the 20 millimeter driver like I got in your hand, in my hand, make sure you put the bevel side to the driver or it could short out. If you do it with 17 millimeters, you can see it would touch those outer rings. So make sure you put that bevel side down, put in the vise, as I showed with the, after you got it for a, Pushed in and the socket, this half inch works real well. Find you one that fits your ring. Put it back in the vise. And boom, it pops everything in real nice and firm. Don't, uh, with this here, it shouldn't, you don't have to go all the way down. Just good enough to make you a good ground about halfway in. Works good. Uh, here's one that you can see on the copper. It's got just a little bit sticking out. Uh, don't go, if it starts getting real hard, stop. That means you're hitting something on the inside. Anyway, I hope that helps on uh, assembling the module. Thank you.